some security requirements now here we are for now we are just talking about some fundamental of each type of component in collaboration right so we have discussed about like collaboration uh, cucm we, we have talked about the intra cluster and some protocols used by these how communication works between end devices and between end devices and uh, cucm and gateway now we see that within a network within a voice data network what are the security requirements and how to fulfill those security requirements so of course security is a very essential component that we need in every type of network whether it's data voice right we need security so for security at every level we have some options or solutions to provide or enhance the security so if we talk about the access layer here right on access layer we can configure port security on the users you know about port security mm -hmm. yeah okay so with port security what we do is we bind the port with the mac address so by that you only allow the authorized users so this let's say on this port you say only this particular ip phone is allowed to send receive traffic or to get connected to that port so what you do is you will bind the mac address of this particular phone to this port of the switch right so that enhance the security so that no other unauthorized user can connect to the unused ports of the switch and can connect to your network and receive the voice traffic right that can be a security threat so for that we have port security as one of the security implementation on access layer on end devices for remote access let's say you have some pcs you have uh, some java clients running on those and you are taking remote you, uh, you have remote access to the other users so for remote access we have two options telnet and ssh telnet is not secure ssh is recommended as secure remote trans, uh, remote uh, desktop communication so for uh, remote access ssh is a security protocol that we can use then we have on access we have uh, distribution and core layer so on access we have discussed about port security on distribution and core we can have access control lists access control list is another security tool which we can implement on layer 3 switches and routers so by that what we can do is we can filter the traffic so let's say you have uh, your end devices running in a network 10.1.1.0/24 you want to allow only this particular subnet to be able to send traffic out of this uh, particular layer let's say distribution or core layer so you can implement access control list access control list will tell that okay only this network is allowed so it will permit this network rest all it will deny so you can perform packet filtering based on ip addresses you can perform filtering of the traffic so that is another security uh, consideration then we have authentication servers so the users coming in for example you have a cucm here which is registering all your end devices so these devices when sending request out from access to distribution through core to the cucm right they should be the authorized users and how it will be checked by authentication servers so this is one other recommendation to have in your network that you should have authentication servers so the requests that are coming in to the cucm or from any one point to the other should be authenticated first using usernames passwords like that right so for authentication servers in cisco we have aaa it's uh, authentication authorization and accounting server yeah so these are some other recommendations for security authentication services then we have firewall the firewall we basically implement on the core layer where the traffic is going out of your network let's say when you're connected to an isp or any remote branch or wan connections or uh, itsp itsp is telephony service provider similarly we have isp or internet connections so at that point at your edge which is the most vulnerable to the threats or attacks there you implement firewalls for security to protect it from unwanted traffic so these are some security requirements and considerations to be uh in your network